opener for men's basketball here for the Wachita Valley Tigers. I'm Chris Day, joined by Kendall Gibbons, and the Tigers are hosting the Royals from Ecclesia College, making the trip down from northwest Arkansas for this season opener for Washita. You look at the team records right there. Of course, this is Washita's first game of the season, or excuse me, first home game of the season after dropping two on the road against Central Missouri and Lincoln as part of the GAC MIAA Challenge. And of course, Ecclesia College has already played six games on the season, two or four so far. But Kendall, let's talk about this new Washita team. A lot of newcomers on this team. Not a lot of returners from last season, but one of the returners has been Tyler Haynes, and he has been outstanding so far. Yeah, Tyler had a, a strong campaign last year. Loss of LaFawn Buller, of course, is not here anymore. We'll see how the new guards can step in place and uh, get, the, get the game rolling this year. Well, one of the new guards has been Emory Knox, a transfer from Charleston Southern, one of the four D1 transfers that Coach Nutt has been able to snag up from the transfer portal, but he's been pretty solid so far for Washita, averaging about 14 points per game in just two games, shooting about 33% from the three-point line. I think that's something else that Coach Nutt wanted to address. He needed some more three-point shooting, and I think he's gone out and gotten some. One guy that we've only seen in one game this season has been Taryn Williams. Now, Taryn, he's got one of the most interesting stories about any of the newcomers. He was the tr the best player, the highest ranked player in 2021 in the state of Arkansas coming out of Marianna, Arkansas. And uh, he spent two seasons at Louisiana Tech. And Well, Kendall, when I look at this team again, the three-point shooting is going to be a lot better than we've seen in years past. But something else that I've noticed is that this team has really been able to do a good job keeping control of not turning the ball over very much. Yes, and that's going to be big this year, um, especially with the new team trying to merge together, not being able to uh, take or, or have other people capitalize off, the, off of our mistakes. Not turning the ball over will be big for us this year. Well, we have the national anthem and the announcement of the starting lineups for both teams, so stay tuned right after this.
But there you have it, the starting lineups for both squads. And at center court, the Royals are awaiting the Tigers. It will be Colton Moore, the freshman from Grants, New Mexico, set to jump for Ecclesia College. And for Washita, looks like it'll be Tyler Haynes that will, or excuse me, Rollin Belton, the junior from Louisiana, Jonesboro, Louisiana, that is. He transferred from Mars College, set the tip off, and the home opener is away for Washita, and it's going to be an early new possession for the Royals. Aaron Anderson set to throw in. Up top, and the shot early there. But Washita crashes on the defensive boards. Here's Knox. Dunlap up top making the start tonight. Knox thought about it, but it's going to be Dunlap for three. And the first points of the game belongs to Kobe Dunlap, the excellent three-point marksman. Here's Anderson guarded closely by Knox. Here's Boston to Reed. Terrell Green working on Dunlap, working in the post, thought about it, but Belton's size distracted him, and Belton comes away with the board. Here's Knox. Looking to go full court. Belton thought about it, but nice take inside, but no good. Green for three, and it is good. Now the Royals are on the board, and we are all knotted up at three. Here's Dunlap, going to fire away, and there you go. All six belong to Kobe Dunlap for the Tigers. Do have to say, Kendall, this Washell team does have some marksmen, and Kobe Dunlap is definitely one of them. Getting him going this year early would be really, really big for us in the back end. And alley -oop to Haynes, and he comes down with it. 4-2, and Washita is up by five with 18-14 left to play. Here's Anderson. Here's Reed, and that's still going to stay with the Royals. Well, both teams are still trying to settle in, and but Washita's look pretty good early on, just about two minutes in for their first home game of the season. Reed to Boston. Moore in the corner, guarded by Belton. Belton. Moore with the jumper around the free throw line and nothing but air. When you look at our Tiger tidbits, Washita was 8-5 here at Bill Vining Arena last season. Had been picked number six in the GAC preseason poll. After having some success in the GAC tournament, and woo, three of three for Kobe Dunlap to start out this game. Excellent off-ball movement by Washita. 
Leads to an excellent look, and here's Reed for a deep three. Woo, that was from almost our, <laughs> from almost where we were seated. Seated. I know that got you almost out of your seat there. Yeah, this Royals team is shooting like they're used to doing it. But they are a pretty solid three-point shooting team. Here's Martin coming off the screen. No good. And Boston with the board. Here's Anderson. Floater in the lane. No good. And Knox comes away with it. Here's Martin going right at Boston. And Boston gets the easy block. But it will stay with the Tigers. Well, this Tiger team definitely wants to get out and run. But they've been excellent in the half court so far. Knox set the throw in. Dunlap up top, guarded by Anderson. Here's Knox. Belton looking for somebody to get open. Nice pass to the cutting Dunlap. And what a performance from Kobe Dunlap. He's got 11. And that actually ties Kobe Dunlap's career high. He's hit the 11 point mark multiple times in his career. Reed, another deep three. And we weren't kidding, this team could definitely shoot. Surprising a lot of people right now. Washita just has a four point advantage. Here's Knox in the corner, got Reed to bite. Haynes, deep two is good, Tyler Haynes with the second basket of the game. Here's Green up top, guarded by Knox. Boston to Reed. Reed, another deep three. Well, it doesn't go in, but he will have a chance to still get three at the free throw line. Well, Kendall, I know that's one of the worst types of fouls. You never want to see that if you're Coach Nutt. Especially if he's hit two already. Uh, we have to control that guy right there and, and limit him from the free throw line. Well, we're going to take it to break for our first media timeout of the period. So stick around for more Tiger basketball here on the Washita Sports Digital Network presented by Taylor King Law. At Taylor King Law, we understand that being injured can be a stressful and overwhelming experience. And that's why we're here to help you every step of the way. As your dedicated legal team, we'll stand by your side when you're being ignored. We'll be on your side to fight for the compensation you deserve. Don't let the insurance companies intimidate you. Let us go to work for you. Call us today and let us help you get back on the road to recovery. On your side, by your side. When you've been injured, we're here for you. At Taylor King Law, we understand that being injured can be a stressful And if you're just tuning in, Washita has the 15 to 9 advantage over the Ecclesia College Royals. This is of course Washita's first home game of the season. And Kendall Honestly, Ecclesia is looking pretty solid. Their three-point shooting, they've been able to knock them down pretty easily. Yeah, they're shooting it comfortably today. And Reed remains perfect on the season, for, or excuse me, not perfect on the season. He's shooting 82% from the free throw line coming in, and he has three free throws after fouled on a three-point attempt before the break. And he goes perfect. And he had two threes before that. As Ryan Reed has definitely looked outstanding for the Royals. And now he's got nine. Here's MJ Leslie to Ham. Haynes to Dunlap. Out to Williams. Taryn Williams for three. No good on that one. But here's Anderson. Picked up by Dunlap. Driving inside, and nice scoop and score by the senior from East Oakland, California. Here's Hamilton Ham to Haynes up top. 
Gets it to Leslie. Leslie, a transfer from Trinity Valley Community College, but no good on that mid-range attempt. And a near steal by Leslie. Anderson setting up the play. Here's Moore up top. Working on Haynes. Thought about the shot. Reed. That's about where he's been shooting it all day, but not a good shot at all. And that was that was a little deep. I know he's had a couple deep ones already, but I think that was still a little outside his range. A new substitution in for the Royals is Jesus Abel Jimenez. Here's Haynes up top. Here's Dunlap. Williams, good looking stroke and a good looking shot. The first points at home for Taryn Williams, the first three of his Tiger career. It's a very successful high school player, actually the best player in 2021 in the state of Arkansas and a nice drive by Ryan Reed. Of course, he's hit a couple threes already that got to play him a little bit tighter. Here's Leslie. Ham screened by Haynes. Ham taking it against Anderson. A lot of contact, but no call. Haynes going to take the mid-range shot. No good. Anderson with the board. Here's Terrell Green. And good defense there by the Tigers, stopping that one. Here's Haynes going right at Jimenez. And Haynes with the bucket inside. He has six. Here's Boston. Reed, Reed, tough shot, no good. But Jimenez with the board. And Jimenez, and he's going to draw some contact from Williams, and he will head to the free throw line. Follow the Tigers number five, Terrence Williams. That's his first personal foul, much to a second team foul. Jimenez is shooting 80% from the free throw line so far this season. Also averaging just under seven points per game in the six games they have played so far this season. The Royals in the black and I want to say that's gold striping. And then Washita in their white and purple jerseys. And Kobe Dunlap's going to check out. Dunlap has looked really solid here for Washita, tying his career high in just the first half at 11. Here's Ham, picked up full court by Anderson. Ham looking inside to Haynes. Haynes posting up Boston, nice fake, but he loses it. Here's Anderson. Anderson working on Haynes, but he loses it too. Marvin Williams done, and he draws a lot of contact, a body shot by Aaron Anderson. And Rollin Belton checks back into the game. Hamilton Ham, the redshirt sophomore from Dallas, Texas. And MJ Leslie gets his first basket of the game. And here's Reed. Of course he's going to pull up, and that's good from way downtown for Ryan Reed. What a shooting performance he's putting on for the Royals, and they are just down by one. I have to say, Kendall, this Royal team has looked pretty competitive so far. Yeah, they're not backing down. They're shooting the ball really, really well and, and playing some good defense. A good defensive possession right there. And here's Brandon Jackson trying to work on Belton. Jimenez inside, no good on that one, and that's going to be an over-the-back foul on Boston. 
Well, one thing I've noticed with this Royal team, they lack a lot of size with only two players at six foot five. So Washita is going to probably be able to attack on the inside as well as, of course, they've shown that they've been able to hit the outside shot as well. That's what I would do. I would, I would get the ball down low and let my big man work. One thing that we are this year, we're, we're really guard heavy, and so we can use that to our advantage and, and get us the, the, the ball in the paint. We'll be fine. Well, we're going to take a quick media timeout here, so stick around for more first-half action of Washita men's basketball here on the Washita Sports Digital Network presented by Taylor King Law. Uh, I've heard people say, oh, a cheetah. Oh, Washita. Oh, a cheetah. Is it pronounced oh, a cheetah? Searching for Washita Baptist University. <laughs> Back in Texas, everybody pronounces it Wichita, but really, it's Washita. 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 How would you pronounce it? Washita. Washita. It's Washita Baptist University. Get it right. It's Washita, people. It's Washita. Washita. Twenty-two, twenty-one is your first half score with eleven thirty-two. Washita leading by one here at the home opener for Washita Tiger men's basketball here at Bill Vining Arena. It's a non-conference, non-league bout between the Tigers and Ecclesia College. And Washita with the turnover. Here's Reed. And Reed, nice hang and finish for the senior out of Stockton, California. He has looked Excellent for the Royals so far. Leslie with the three, no good. Ham crashing the boards, but no good. And Reed, of course he's going to pull up again. Oh, my goodness, Ryan Reed, he's on fire for the Royals. He's got 19. He's just about at his season average, about 20 points per game. And here's Leslie on the wing. Belton almost lost it there. Here's Ham to Leslie. Leslie, 4-3 is good. MJ Leslie has six for the Tigers. And now they're down by just one. Here's Jackson. Giving up about seven inches to Belton, but working on him nonetheless. And here's Anderson driving inside and... Will not be a shooting foul. Will be on the floor as Emery Knox is about to check back in for Washita. Will be the second foul on Taryn Williams and Hamilton Ham's going to come out. Anderson set to throw in. Out to Jackson. Jackson four three. No good on that one. Belton with the board. Williams, extra pass to Leslie. Leslie for three. MJ Leslie with nine in this game. We knew he could shoot, but he's really showing it out right here. The star at Trinity Valley Community College and it's already looking like an excellent pickup for Coach Nutt. Jackson working inside out to Jimenez and that didn't work at all. And now it's a royal turnover and Tiger basketball. Well, Kendall, I know the Tigers have just regained the lead, but what did they have to do to further extend it? Well, maybe put the ball in his hands, even though that was no good on that one, but what did they have to do to extend this two-point lead? First, it starts on the defensive end. You have to stop number three. He's getting to his spots, and he's getting looks like that. They've been falling for him lately, but we have to get a stop on defense and, and maintain the lead, playing smart on offense, and get it to our shooters. Well, here's one of the shooters right now. Taryn Williams for three is good. Taryn Williams with his second triple of the game. He has six. The former number one player in Arkansas from Mariana. Here's Lynch, and that's going to be a traveling violation and a turnover for the Royals. And frankly, I have to admit, only five turnovers in the game for Ecclesia College. Not as many as I would have expected. I think 
Some people expected it to be a runaway right away, but the Royals have looked pretty tough so far. And Leslie not even going to think about it. No good on that one, though. Starting to get a little bit of a turnout crowd here. Got a good home crowd behind us. Here's Brandon Jackson. Nice cut inside, but no good. Anderson gets it blocked by Knox. Now a fast break opportunity for the Tigers into Belton. He loses it. But back to Knox. Knox, 4-3, no good. And Anderson with the board. Washington's gotten a few good looks here. Anderson, and that's going to be a foul. I think they're going to get Knox with the push. Oh, wow. Well, we're going to have another timeout here, so stick around for more of this first half of action here from Bill Vining Arena. Stay tuned for more basketball here on the Washita Sports Digital Network presented by Taylor King Law. The central and midwestern U.S. averages more than 850 tornadoes each year. And lately, the number of floods has been rising in the region, too. So chances are, there will be more twisters and floods near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are, you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are, they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. And welcome back to Tiger Basketball here on the Washita Sports Digital Network. This is men's basketball, the season opener here at Bill Vining Arena. Tigers are hosting Ecclesia College, coming down from Northwest Arkansas, making the trip from Springdale. And of course, Washita does have the lead here, but only leading by five. And I'm Chris Gay, joined by Kendall Givens. And i got to say, Ecclesia College has really been kind of shocking here. Yeah, and I, I bet you they're the only ones who believe that they could, you know, hang with the Tigers tonight. Um, in order for them to keep the lead up, they keep, they got to keep making shots. Well, this is a team that has success in the NC, or excuse me, in double C, double A, as they have made back-to-back -back championship appearances. Have yet to find or been able to be any more than just a runner-up, but have looked good so far under coach Vlad Shira, head coach for the Royals. And here's Knox for the Tigers. Knox, a transfer from Charleston Southern into the transfer from Mars College, and Belton loses it, but it will stay with the Tigers. And Kobe Dunlap's going to check in for Marvin Williams Dunn. And Kendall, this has been one of the most talented Tiger teams that we've seen in recent memory, not because of the youth that they have, but because of the D1 talent that they have with three D1 players on the court right now. Here's one of them. Emory Knox to another one. Taryn Williams. No good on that one, though. Terrell Green with the board. Here's Kenji Bryant to Reed. Honestly, this is Reed's range right about now. But he's going to take it inside, going at Belton. Gets his own shot attempt, and it is good on the second chance opportunity. And Knox's three-pointer is good. And he finds the bottom of the net for the first time in this game. Here's Green to Jimenez. Jimenez driving inside, but that I think was blocked. But they're going to get Taron Williams with the foul. Kind of a late call. Washington was ready to get out and run. Actually, I think they're going to get Belton on that one. It'll be his first foul of the game. Shooting two for FLC. Number 32. Jimenez 
It's been to the free throw line already today. It was two of two previously. Now three of three. And Reggie Martin and Tyler Haynes going to check in for Washita. Roland Belton is going to take a seat. And Jimenez is perfect from the line on this game. He cuts that deficit to just three. Here's Knox up top into Haynes, working on Jimenez inside, no good. And now the Royals are out running. Here's Jimenez, working on Haynes, no good on that one. And it's going to be Tiger basketball as Green made the effort to go get it. Or excuse me, Jared Wilson made the effort. Here's Knox. Haynes up top to Dunlap. Dunlap has 11, trying to get it to Haynes, but gets it right back. Cross-court pass to Knox. Knox driving inside. Finish inside by Emory Knox, the junior from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Here's Bryant rejecting the screen there. Here's Reed. He's had a great game so far. And that's going to be another Royal turnover. Well, Kendall, if you are the Royals, of course, you're just down five. They looked excellent so far, but you've seen back-to-back -back turnovers. What is it going to take to be able to try to get back into this game? Well, you said it. you got to limit the turnovers. Back-to-back -back turnovers against a team who plays fast like the Tigers. Um, you can't have that happen, so you got to limit the turnovers and keep making shots. Here's Knox driving inside. Step back jumper, no good off the front of the rim. And here's Bryant. Waiting for a screen, double screen by the Royals. Gets him matched up against Williams. He's going to fire a three way off. But Royals, and it's going to be Tiger basketball. There is a loose ball foul. I believe they're going to get Jared Wilson on that one. Foul on Ecclesia number 13, Jared Wilson. That's his first personal foul, and Ecclesia's 13 foul of the half. And Coach Nutt out there helping wipe up the floor. Well, the Royals have looked pretty solid so far, but it's been on the back of one player, that being Ryan Reed. The 6'1 guard out of Stockton, California. He has 21 points in this game, which is just right about his average, and we still have five minutes to play in the first half. Here's Knox. Thought about the three. Martin looking inside to Haynes, working on more. Out to Dunlap. Dunlap, no hesitation, but no good there. But Martin with the board. Reggie Martin, nice spin inside for the finish. Reggie Martin gets on the board for the first time today. Bryant guarded closely by Knox. Here's Terrell Green. Scoop and score. It's a tough shot right there. For the senior out of Lawton, Oklahoma. Here's Knox. Taryn Williams driving inside. That was blocked right away as he, I think, was trying to make, trying to find a teammate. Green. Inside. And they're going to get Knox there. Anytime you get both your hands down trying to go for the ball, more likely than not, they're going to get that one a call. And we're going to take it into our another media timeout. So we still have 3.56 left to play in this first half of this men's basketball season over. So stay tuned for more basketball here on the Washita Sports Digital Network presented by Taylor King Law. 
Captain Henderson House. We're a home to call your very own when you're away from yours, with a porch to end your night on, surrounded by friends sharing stories and old times, and a yard with memories of summertime weddings and picnics after the game. We are so thankful for the life this house has seen for nearly 150 years. Come stay with us and join in on our stories. Captain Henderson House, Inn and Events. And welcome back. If you're just joining us, watch off with a five-point lead. We're going to take it this last play. Of course, Reggie Martin with the offensive board. But look at this. Woo, nice little spin move right around the defender. The nice finish there using the rim to protect the ball. That's the type of play you love to see, especially of the second chance opportunity. But Reggie Martin one of, gonna be one of those players that's gonna be a huge impact player all season long for Washita. That's an open look for Boston and a nice shot by Jerry Boston, the junior out of Seattle, Washington. Here's Knox. Knox working inside. Out to Taryn Williams. Williams to Knox. Swing pass to Dunlap. Dunlap for three. Oh, and that's a new career high for the senior out of Greenbrier, Arkansas. Previous career high was 11. And that's going to be 14 points for Dunlap. Green, and he's going to take a deep shot here, and that looked good from Terrell Green. Green shooting just about 30% from beyond the arc, but no hesitation there off the ball screen. Martin lost it, gets it right back, and an easy score inside. And Washita bringing this lead back up four. Here's Bryant. Up top, here's Green. Green picked up by Haynes. Wilson. And Bryant may have been tripped up there. And Bryant was not even in balance when he received that ball. It's going to be another Royals turnover. Well, Kendall. I know this is still a close game, but Washtaw still looked pretty good so far. That was a solid defensive possession right there by the Washtaw Tigers. I will say the Royals, their deep shots have been keeping them in the game so far. Williams backing down Boston. Tough finish with the left for Taryn Williams, the junior from Mariana, Arkansas. And here's Bryant. Guarded closely by Knox. Here's Wilson looking for a teammate. Here's Terrell Green. Tough contested shot. And Martin comes away with it. Martin full head of steam. Ooh, what a finish for Reggie Martin. Now that's going to get everybody excited right there. What a finish. First of all, I thought he was going to throw it down right there, but still an excellent finish. That's one thing I can say about our guards this year. We're finishing a little bit better than what we did last year, getting our getting our looks uh, down low, and we're taking advantage of it. Well, Martin so far in this game has six as he's at the free throw line for the first time tonight. And he converts the three-point opportunity there. And here's Reed. Oh, he's going to pull it. And that is good for Ryan Reed. Right back to where he left off. He's got 24. And that is his fifth triple of the half. I wonder how many points they have down low. I wonder how many paint touches they're getting. Because right now, what's keeping them in the game is the three-point shot. We'll talk about some points down low. Taryn Williams going to head to the free throw line. 
As Taryn Williams getting into a rhythm, only had two points in his, excuse me, three points in his first game as a member of the Tigers against Central Missouri, but he's definitely coming into his own after coming off the bench. And he will convert the and one. Reed pulls up again for three off that time, and Haynes comes away with it. Here's Knox, gonna slow down the offense a little bit. And he's gonna t pull the three, no good there. Green with the board. The two possession game. With 30, two seconds left on the game clock. Here's Anderson. He's draining some clock here, gets it down to nine. Anderson working on Haynes and a nice finish inside. And we're going to have a timeout here by Coach Nutt. He's going to set up a play with 14.5 left on the clock. But, Kendall, we are going to stay right here. So I will say one thing about this Royal team. They're not going away. That is for sure. And I think we know why they're not going away. It's pretty simple as to why they're not going away. Yeah, the three-point shot is keeping them alive. Um, I'd like to see other players get involved from their team, but, hey, when the player is on and you can't stop him, he's just on, and uh, they, need, they need to keep feeding him the rock and let him do what he's doing. Yeah, that player in question is Ryan Reed. Was averaging 20 points per game coming into this one. He's got 24, and we still have 14.5 left in the first half, so he is playing outstanding for Ecclesia. But, of course, Washita, they have some guys getting in a rhythm. Kobe Dunlap has 14, and Taryn Williams has also hit double digits with 11. As Knox has it with eight seconds. Here's Martin to Knox. Haynes working inside. No good there. Boston with the board, and that's going to do it for the first yeah, half of the now, Tigers the season score. opener here at Bill Vining Arena. Your Washita Tigers, 51. Well, the score, Washita's leading by 7, 51 to 44 so far against the Ecclesia College Warriors, or Royals. We'll stick around for second half of action here on the Washita Sports Digital Network presented by Taylor King Law. At Taylor King Law, we understand that being injured can be a stressful and overwhelming experience. And that's why we're here to help you every step of the way. As your dedicated legal team, we'll stand by your side when you're being ignored. We'll be on your side to fight for the compensation you deserve. Don't let the insurance companies intimidate you. Let us go to work for you. Call us today and let us help you get back on the road to recovery. On your side, by your side. When you've been injured, we're here for you. Uh, I've heard people say, oh, a cheetah. Oh, Wichita. Oh, a cheetah. Is it pronounced, oh, a cheetah? Searching for Washita Baptist University. <laughs> Back in Texas, everybody pronounces it Wichita, but really, it's Washita. 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 How would you pronounce it? Washita. Washita. It's Washita Baptist University. Get it right. It's Washita, people. It's Washita. Washita. The central and midwestern U.S. averages more than 850 tornadoes each year. And lately, the number of floods has been rising in the region, too. So chances are, there will be more twisters and floods near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are, you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are, they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Captain Henderson House. We're a home to call your very own when you're away from yours, with a porch to end your night on, surrounded by friends sharing stories and old times, and a yard with memories of summertime weddings and picnics after the game. We are so thankful for the life this house has seen for nearly 150 years. Come stay with us and join in on our stories. Captain Henderson House, in and events. Hey world, I have a quick message.
message is about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight. Both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. When not in your hand trying to text somebody back. Because if you do, your car might get smacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs>
The foundation is here to help you support your Washtenaw Tigers. If you'd like to create an estate plan that supports Washtenaw and its mission or learn about other giving opportunities, please contact us using the information below. Food isn't just fuel to live, it's fuel to grow. My family relied on public assistance to help provide meals for us. These meals fueled my involvement in theater and the arts as a child, which fostered my love for acting. The Feeding America network of food banks helps millions of people put food on the table. When people are fed, futures are nourished. Join the movement to end hunger, and together we can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Visit feedingamerica.org slash act now. As a student athlete in college, I first got involved with the NCAA at the national level. It was through the Student Athlete Advisory Committee SAC gave me an opportunity to advocate on behalf of all student athletes to affect change and to make an impact. The NCAA is giving the student athlete a platform to voice their concerns and to be able to advocate for what's going to affect their well-being. The policies that are being put in place are speaking towards academics, they're speaking towards well-being, they're speaking towards fairness, creating a culture so that the student athletes have the best experiences possible. I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. Make Print Mania in downtown Arkadelphia your place to get embroidery, screen printing, trophies, and more. Drop by their store on Main Street in downtown Arkadelphia or visit their website at printmaniatees.com to see how they can help your business or group. Need a shirt for an event? Let Print Mania take care of that. Need promotional materials for your business or organization? You can let Print Mania take care of that too. A family-run local business in Arkadelphia, Print Mania has been serving the public since 1992. Call Print Mania today, 870-246-3803. drive an hour to cheer them on as they get beat 11 to nothing in the rain, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat. Roll that ball, Diane. Woo! You got this. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? Victor deployed for the first time to Afghanistan in 2003. 
He sustained a moderate traumatic brain injury. Basically, he had to relearn everything. One of the most important elements of caregiving is taking care of yourself. We have our own journey, and we can fulfill that journey at the same time that we are helping our loved one. Visit aarp.org caregiving for a free military veteran's guide to navigate your caregiving journey. On December 7, 2005, I was deployed to Baghdad, Iraq. As I was searching for the bomb, the bad guy and the bomb found me first. After the explosion, I was left with a 1% chance of living. During my road to recovery, I had a tremendous amount of support from friends and families and the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes. The primary mission of the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes is to offer financial emergency assistance to veterans and their families. Visit saluteheroes.org to learn more. At Taylor King Law, we understand that being injured can be a stressful and overwhelming experience. And that's why we're here to help you every step of the way. As your dedicated legal team, we'll stand by your side when you're being ignored. We'll be on your side to fight for the compensation you deserve. Don't let the insurance companies intimidate you. Let us go to work for you. Call us today and let us help you get back on the road to recovery. On your side, by your side. When you've been injured, we're here for you. Uh, I've heard people say, oh, a cheetah. Oh, Wichita. A cheetah. Oh, a cheetah. Is it pronounced oh, a cheetah? Searching for Washita Baptist University. <laughs> Back in Texas, everybody pronounces it Wichita, but really, it's Washita. 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 How would you pronounce it? Washita. Washita. It's Washita Baptist University. Get it right. It's Washita, people. It's Washita. Washita. The central and midwestern U.S. averages more than 850 tornadoes each year. And lately, the number of floods has been rising in the region, too. So chances are, there will be more twisters and floods near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are, you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are, they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. And welcome back to the Washita Sports Digital Network presented by Taylor King Law. I'm Chris Gay, joined by my color commentator, the unanimous all-GAC team selection, Kendall Givens. And we welcome you to the season opener for Washita men's basketball. And Kendall, I got to ask, you've been, you know, a lot of people have been talking about you for your accomplishments on the gridiron. How's it feel? Um, uh, I'm trying not to pay attention to it, man. It, I, I enjoy it, man. I, I love the game, and so um, uh, the game has been good to me, and I'm, I'm trying to pay my dues to the game, you know. Well, right now we have basketball here at Bill Vining Arena. Washita with the 51-44 lead over Ecclesia. And that's going to be an early Tiger turnover. The Royals are out running. Here's Ryan Reed. And Tigers guarding him a little closer around half court. If you're just joining us, the Royals really were shooting from deep just like that one. But, of course, that one didn't fall for Terrell Green. And that's going to be almost another Tiger turnover. Knox, he's going to dial it up from deep. No good on that one. Reed with the board. Both teams still searching for the first basket of the second half. Here's Green to Reed. Here's Boston. Boston for three. He's got two of them, but no good on that. Here's Reggie Martin. Going to pull up for mid-range. Rattles in and out. And here's Anderson. Anderson muscles his way through, trying to get it to Moore. Swing pass to Boston. Out to Anderson to Reed. Reed from deep. Oh, what a shot from Ryan Reed. That is his sixth three-pointer of the game. We were talking during the break if they could keep up this hot shooting, and that's a pretty good start for the Royals. He's picking up where he left off. Haynes with a deep two there for the first points of the second half for Washita. And here's Boston. 
Anderson up top, guarded by Knox. And here's Reed. Reed has been taking really any shot he's been, he likes, and that's going to be a royal turnover, Tiger basketball. I think if you're the Tigers limiting the outside shooting for the Royals is definitely going to be the key. But on the offensive side of the ball, get it to your big-time playmakers, and that's one of them. Nice shot inside by Reggie Martin. As he got his first basket of the second half, and it's going to be nine points on the night. Here's Boston. Knox strips it away. Fast break opportunity and finishes with the left. Emory Knox gets his first points of the second half. And here's Anderson. Anderson spinning off, trying to get some contact. Tough finish inside. Knox trying to find a teammate to get it in. Washita with the eight point advantage over the Royals. Martin, pull up, floater is good. Nice shot inside by the junior from Vivian, Louisiana. Here's Reed. We've seen him take some shots from that West Rock Coffee logo. And that's no good there. Dunlap tips it to himself. Here's Knox cutting inside is Martin, and he's going to get it inside to Haynes. Haynes working on more, and that's good for Tyler Haynes. And Coach Yero has had enough, and he's going to want to talk to his crew. Well, we'll take a timeout with them. So 61-49 is your score with 16-10. 16-10 left to play in the second half of action. Stay tuned for more Tiger basketball here on the Washita Sports Digital Network presented by Taylor King Law. Captain Henderson House. We're a home to call your very own when you're away from yours, with a porch to end your night on, surrounded by friends sharing stories and old times, and a yard with memories of summertime weddings and picnics after the game. We are so thankful for the life this house has seen for nearly 150 years. Come stay with us and join in on our stories. Captain Henderson House, in and events. 61-49 is your score with 16-10 left to play in the second half of this men's season home opener. Washita hosting Ecclesia College out of Springdale, Arkansas. Well, I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Chris Gay, joined by my color analyst, Kendall Givens. Kendall, obviously the game was a little bit closer coming in to the second half. What has Washita done? to really stretch his lead. The last three looks, the last three buckets of the game have been down low. Um, the height difference, the, the strength difference, uh, we can take advantage of that and, and, and stretch this lead even more than we have it. But that's been the difference uh, coming out this second half. We'll take a look at another Tiger tidbit. Of course, Kendall Givens, unanimous first team all GAC running back, the only unanimous selection this season for Washita. So congrats there to Kendall. Now here's some basketball. And Knox almost with another steal, and that's going to be a reach-in foul. It's going to be Knox's second foul of the contest. And we're going to take a second to mop up the floor. Not being corrected by the booth and or the trailer outside that you are actually the lone unanimous selection in the Great American Conference out of all the awards so far this season. So I know you're not trying to think about those too much, but pretty nice accomplishments as Belton with the block. And now we have a fast break opportunity. And Haynes couldn't hold on to it. 
Here's Jimenez. And nice scoop and score inside by Jimenez. The 6'4 senior from Fairmont Prep Academy. Here's Martin inside to Belton. Belton still looking for his first points, backing him down. No good. Haynes trying to tip it back in, but no good. Well, Washita definitely has a lot more size than the Royals, but they have been out-rebounded thus far in this game, as that's going to be an air ball by David Lynch. And Belton's going to check out, and Taryn Williams is going to check in, and actually we're going to have a media timeout here, and we'll take a media timeout with them. So stick around for more Tiger basketball after this break, presented by... Taylor King Law. Hey world, I have a quick message. It's about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight. Both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. When well, not in your hand trying to text somebody back. Because if you do, your car might get smacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> Washita with a 10-point lead over Ecclesia College here at Bill Vining Arena. Washita looked pretty good so far in the second half, shooting 55% in this half alone, limiting the Royals to just shooting 37%. As Martin working on that defense, nice scoop and score for the junior. Junior is a transfer from Dawson Community College. And Knox almost with another steal there. Anderson with the screen by Jimenez. Anderson, yes, that defense from Knox has been stifling so far. And not a lot of movement on offense for the Royals as MJ Leslie checks in for Kobe Dunlap. Here's Jimenez up top to Reed. Out to Lynch. Lynch working on Williams. A nice dish inside to Terrell Green. So they cut the lead to 10. Here's Leslie. Inside to Haynes. Haynes hanging. Score and an and one opportunity. For Tyler Haynes, we have seen too many of those times of those things happen for Haynes in his three years now with Washita. Haynes now has 12 points in the contest. It's now the first trip for Haynes at the free throw line today. And he knocks that one down. Washita remains perfect from the free throw line today in just their three trips. And nice dish inside to Jimenez and good patience against the trees. And here's Martin splitting the defense. Oh! Reggie Martin with the slam. I think this crowd has been waiting for a play like that. He had a really nice finish in the first half. But that's going to be an exclamation mark to this lead so far. And good defense inside by Washita. And now they're getting out to run. Here's Leslie to Williams. Williams pass fake three is good. Taryn Williams has 14 for and his third triple of the game. You will not mention how fast the Tigers have been playing. And 
I told you if we got out to a quick start like that, some some good will happen. Reed, a rare miss from three. And here's Terrell Green. He's taking some deep shots too, and there's another one for Terrell Green. It's going to be just his second triple of the game. And now he's just the second Royal in double digits with 10. Haynes to Knox. Knox, he's going to dial it up from deep. But Reed with the board. Well, Washita stretching this lead out. 71-58 with 12 minutes remaining. Another steal. Another fast break opportunity. And here's Leslie getting in on the action. And there you go. MJ Leslie with the triple and a royal time out. But we're going to stay right here. Kendall, what a surge from Washita. I got to say that Reggie Martin dunk was really what sparked it. Let's take a look at it. Splitting the defense. Watch your head. Ooh. What a finish from the junior. Take a look at another play here. Here's Leslie, the dish to Williams. A nice pass fake. And that's always a difficult position for Reed to be in. Trying to cover two players off the ball. And a little nudge by that. It's always going to happen. And then, of course, MJ Leslie. He said, you know what? I'm going to get one, too. Dialing up from deep, and he's also in double digit for the Tigers. Kendall, what a surge from Washita. Yes, that, that was big time by Reggie Martin right there, sparking the crowd up. He's such an explosive basketball player. Uh, we need more of that to stretch the lead. Well, with that Leslie triple, he's now the fifth Tiger in double digits. And here's Reed up top. Honestly, I could see him shooting here from right here. He's dialed up a few shots already from the logo. Taking the screen from Jimenez. Green attacking baseline inside. No good on that one. Haynes gets it to himself. A lot of contact, no call. And Hamilton Ham, who recently just checked into the contest. And Jimenez is going to get called for the foul. It's not going to be a shooting foul. Will be Jimenez's first foul of the game. Well, we're going to have a media timeout here, but we are going to take a timeout, though. So stick around for more second-half action of this season opener for Washita here on the Washita Sports Digital Network presented by Taylor King Law. I'm Sandra, this is Jorge, and we were adopted in 2019. I remember when they first came to us, Michael was already a teenager. The whole cliche of they're so lucky to have you guys, and it's no. the other way around. They have changed our family for the better. They chose to love us. They didn't have to. They chose us. Family. Learn about adopting a teen from foster care. You can't imagine the reward. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Visit the Washita Campus Store for all your Tiger apparel, merchandise, and gifts. If you need something to wear to show your Tiger pride, stop by the Washita Campus Store on the bottom floor of the Evans Student Center to grab a t-shirt, sweatshirt, polo, or more. If you can't stop by the store on campus, visit us online at bookstore.obu.edu. Make your purchase and we'll send it to you. Support the Tigers by checking out the Washita Campus Store. Go Tigers! A Washita with a 74-58 lead here with 11-27 left to play in the second half. In the season opener, or excuse me, the home opener for Washita. Almost out of bounds right there. Good job by Leslie staying in bounds. Karen Williams going to dial it up from deep. No good there. And it's a rare miss from Washita as they're shooting an, e an even 50% from three in the second half before that miss. Here's Jimenez working on Belton. Belton's gonna get the block. Belton bites on the pump fake and nice score inside by Green. Here's Williams to Martin. Martin thought about it. Here's Leslie. 
Ham on the wing. Screen by Belton. Ham, he's going to dial it up from deep, and it's good. Hamilton Ham, his first shot and make of the game for Washita. And Ham is now out on Brandon Jackson, the senior from Monroe, Louisiana. And would have been a tough finish, but no good on that one. And it's going to be Tiger basketball. Good contest inside by Belton. And Gavin Snyder, the only true freshman on this Tiger roster, he's going to check in for the first time today. And here's Snyder. Coming from Little Rock Central High School. Here's Ham. Ham driving inside, finish with the left, no good. And Jimenez collects the board. Here's Reed. Picked up by Ham. Here's Jimenez working on Snyder, and no good, but he will have a chance to go to the free throw line. His third trip there today. Washita with the 17-point lead, and Jimenez going to try to stay perfect from the free throw line today. It's 4-4. Four in his previous two trips. Well, I got to say, Jimenez, he's not been one of the key scorers really all season for the Royals, and he's not been one of the key scorers tonight, but he has done some work on the glass with five rebounds, tied for second on the team. And actually, despite the now 16, 15 point deficit for the Royals, they are still out rebounding Washita by a significant margin. Here's Snyder. Snyder thought about it. Belton. Belton's going to take the mid range shot. No good there. Offensive board by Snyder. Ham to Belton. Swing pass over to Leslie for three. Is good. MJ Leslie. His fourth three-pointer of the day. Shooting four of seven, that's 57% from beyond the arc. We don't panic when we get in situations like that. That's, that'll be big for us this year in the GAC, not panicking. And that's gonna be a backcourt violation by Jackson. And it's gonna be Tiger basketball with 8.56 left in the second half. Williams set to throw it in. Leslie up top. Oh, he's going to take another triple. No good there, but the board by Jackson. And here's Reed out running and can't finish over Leslie, but he will head to the free throw line. Foul the Tigers number four, MJ Leslie. Going to try to stay perfect from the free throw line as well. He's three of three. But something that we were talking about during the break was Washita had to limit Ryan Reed, and he's only had three points in the second half. Now four points in the second half, so I think that strategy has paid off. Absolutely. Coming out, limiting him, uh, he, he was the only reason that they were in the game in the first half. Limiting him was big for us. Belton with the board, and here's Snyder. Belton to Williams. Williams just bully ball, but it will be an offensive foul. And that's going to be Williams' third foul of the contest. Well, this is just the second game for Williams so far in his Tiger career. Spent the last two seasons at Louisiana Tech. He played a pretty solid role for them off the bench. And Snyder with the steal. Good anticipation on the pass. And here's Leslie. Leslie, no call there. 
into Belton. Belton, off balance shot is good by Rollin Belton. That's his first basket of the game. It was 0-3 before that one. Here's Reed. And it's Snyder on the ground, and it's still going to be Royal basketball, but that's got everybody on that Tiger bench up and happy for the freshman. And we're going to take it into another break, but we will stay right here. Kendall, 82-63 lead, and we still have plenty of time left in the second half. What has Washita done that's allowed them to stretch this lead out? And I think it was just a five-point lead just at halftime. What have they done to, you know, add to their success? Uh, you mentioned it earlier, man. Limited number three, Ryan Reed. Limited his, limited his touches, limited his shots. Uh, that was big time for us. Uh, attacking the paint, finishing well down there, and, of course, limiting the turnovers. That's done as well here in the second half. Well, they've gotten high from three so far in this game. Washita. And really in this half, they're shooting an even 50% four of eight. As you saw, the Hamilton Ham three-point shot for his first basket of the game, his first three on the season for Washita. But the three-point shot had been falling all night long for the Royals, and they've been able to limit that a little bit, just shooting 40% in the second half and just 38% from the field. And really everybody's getting getting involved for Washita. You just saw Rollin Belton, his first basket of the game, off a nice pass inside from Leslie. But one thing that I mentioned was Coach Nutt brought in a lot of transfers, a lot of fresh faces for this Washita team, added some size, added some athleticism, and a lot of shooting. And those transfers are looking pretty good so far. Here's Reed, guarded by Snyder. Snyder. And it's going to be a foul. It's going to be on Snyder with the push in the back. It will be his second personal. Snyder in his just his second game for Washita. He's played pretty solid. The lone true freshman on the roster for the Tigers from Little Rock Central. A bitter rival of North Little Rock charging Wildcats, of which I'm an alum of. Here's Belton up top. Leslie thought about the mid-range shot. Here's Williams into Belton, and Belton would have for sure finished inside, but not before a wrap-up by Terrell Green. That's his second personal. Was not a shooting foul. The Washita will have it in the half court. Here's Snyder to Ham. Leslie along the wing, working baseline. Into Belton. Leslie has been hot this game from three. He's going to take another one. And there is another one for MJ Leslie. That's going to be triple number five for the junior. And he's just one of the many transfers that's just had a very solid night so far. Here's Reed. He hadn't have taken a three for a while. A little bit of contact on that shot. But that was nothing but air there. But Kobe Dunlap's going to check in. And Hamilton Ham's going to check out. Gavin Snyder going to run the point for Washita. Here's Belton to Snyder, waiting for a screen by Belton. Snyder inside, no good on that one. Good defense by Jackson. Here's Boston. And it's going to be a Royal turnover, but it's going to stay with the Royals as Leslie couldn't stay in bounds. But Kendall, this defense for Washita. It's been tough. They've been all up in their face. And they've been, capital, they've been capitalizing off their turnovers um, in the back end, fast breaks, shots. That's been a pivotal point in this second half. And Emory Knox is going to check back in for Gavin Snyder. Some solid mi minutes from the freshman. And here's Reed to Boston.
Here's Reed. Screen on the left by Boston. Boston's going to dial it up from deep. No good there. And it will be a shot clock violation. And Washita will have it with a 20-point lead with 6.01 left to play. And I imagine a lot of fans here at Bill Vining Arena would love to see Washita hit triple digits for the first time this season. Belton in the high post. Knox, nice finish inside for Emery Knox, and I imagine he's going to have a similar role to sort of the role that Laquan Butler played last season for the Tigers. And Belton, what a rejection at the rim for the big man from Jonesboro, Louisiana. Taron Williams going to check out. And Tyler Haynes checked back in. Reed, he's going to take the triple. No good there. He's been cold this second half. As Leslie has it. Leslie, of course he's going to take the triple. And of course he's going to knock down his sixth triple of the game. He's shooting 60% from me on the arc as Reed almost loses it off his leg. Here's Jimenez, 4-3 on the wing, no good there. Knox with the board. Here's Leslie up top. Leslie to Dunlap on the wing. Dunlap, 4-3 is good for Kobe Dunlap. He's got 17. His previous career high was 11, and he's just one of the many Tigers that's been shooting supremely well from down from uh, from deep. And Terrell Green, highly contested shot, is no good, but they do get it back. And here's Bryant trying to find Jimenez, but it's stolen by Leslie. Good defensive possession from Washita Knox. To Leslie, Leslie, another three, and that's triple number seven for MJ Leslie. Immediately becoming a fan favorite for this Tiger faithful. Seems like everything is just falling for MJ Leslie. He only had eight points in that first half, but he's been torching the Royals so far in the second half. Here's Wilson driving baseline against Haynes, but he just takes that away from him right away. And it's going to stay with the Royals, though, as Green got back on the floor, keeping it alive for the Royals. And we're going to take another timeout here, a 96-65 lead with 3.43 left to play for Washita. Stick around for more basketball action here on the Washita Sports Digital Network presented by Taylor King Law. Owned by OBU alumni, Java Primo is the official coffee house of Washita Tiger football. At Java Primo, amazing coffee is just the beginning. Try our great options at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and don't forget about our amazing desserts. Also, shop Java Primo's gift selection 24-7 online at javaprimo.com. And welcome back to the Washita Sports Digital Network's presentation of Tiger Men's Basketball. Well, Washita has been torching the Royals this second half from three, and one of those players that's been torching them has been MJ Leslie. Kendall, what a performance from the transfer from Trinity Valley Community College. He's out there comfortable. Everything that he's putting up, it seems like it's going in. Exactly. He's got seven triples in this game, but not only him that's been getting in on the three-point shooting action, but Kobe Dunlap, I mentioned he's gotten a career high in points with 17 this game, but also a career high in three-point field goals made with five. And it's going to stay with the Royals after Jackson just hit it off of Dunlap's leg. But the Tigers have been shooting just, oh, 
So hot. I just now looked at the number. They're shooting 66% from three in the second half alone. Nice finish inside by Jackson. And here's Knox. Along with that, we have five players in double figures. Emory Knox is just for this. Oh, Dunlap adding to his. Emory Knox is just right under the double figure mark with nine points. Yeah, Dunlap hit the 20 point, not point mark for the first time in his college career, and that's going to be another Tiger opportunity. And now Wachita is just two points away from hitting triple digits as we're going to have several substitutions for Washita. Tyler, I imagine Emory Knox is going to sit for the final time tonight, so he won't hit that double-digit mark, but could see some other Tigers do that. Here's Snyder to Ham. Belton up top. Belton to Dunlap. Dunlap, another three. No good there. Snyder, good try on the offensive board. But it's going to be tracked down by Bryant. As a problem with the shot clock has to be reset as Marvin Williams Dunn is set to check in for Washita. Checking in for Belton. Bryant set to throw in. Here's Moore up top. To Wilson. Wilson stepped through. Finish is good for the junior from New Orleans. Here's Snyder. Guarded by Bryant. Dunlap to Snyder. Snyder spinning. Collides with the teammate. But Dunlap's going to take another three. And that is triple number six for Kobe Dunlap as we're going to have a substitution. And guess what, Kendall? We have hit triple digits, 101 points here at Bill Vining Arena for Wachita. But no real surprise here. As J.C. Phillip checks in for the first time today and the first time all season long. And here's Bryant guarded by Snyder. Here's Jackson up top. Jackson finding teammates open. And no good there. Snyder with the board. Out to Williams. Williams with the and one finish. Well, Kendall, I figured that Darren Williams was going to be an impact player right away for Washita. But I've been really impressed with his performance so far today. Yeah, since he got going, you know, early uh, in the first half and getting to see him run up and down, and that'll be big for us getting him going up and down the floor. He's an excellent three-point shooter, but, of course, like you said, he's been getting out on the fast break and creating some opportunities for the Tigers. It's going to be important for a team that loves to get out and run. And Bryant, nice step back. No good. And J.C. Phillip, actually, that's his first statistic of his college career. And there's Hamilton Ham in the corner for three. No good there. Phillip and first shot attempt for J.C. Phillip off the offensive rebound. Phillip. And the Royals going to get a second chance opportunity, and they have 71 with a minute 12 left to play in this second half. Here's Snyder. Oh, he's wide open in the corner. No good there. Bryant with the board. Bryant picked up by Ham. Now with just less than a minute left to play as Jackson's going to dial it up from the corner. No good there. Williams with the board. Taryn Williams working baseline. Gets it to Snyder. Snyder. Spinning out to Marvin Williams, done. Extra pass to Williams, no good there. But good ball movement and a nice move inside by Snyder. Here's Wilson. Spinning, nowhere to go. Decides to still shoot it. And the rebound by Snyder as Wilson hits the deck and he's still down, slow to get up. Williams, somebody's open. 
Here's Phillip. He's going to dial it up from deep. No good there. And with just 7.7 .7 left to play in this game. In this home opener for men's basketball here at Bill Vining Arena. And Ryan Reed checks back in for the Royals. And they're just going to dribble the clock out here as Bryant racing up the court. He's going to get one last shot. And add two more to his statistics. And that is a 30-point Washita Tiger win in this home opener. And the first win of the season for Washita after dropping two on the road against Central Missouri and Lincoln, Missouri. Well, Kendall, what a performance from Washita. Loved every second of it. Yes, we, we'll, we'll be fun to watch this year, getting up and down the floor, especially in the half court, uh, says getting our, our shooter the ball, Kobe Dunlap, uh, MJ Leslie. It'll be fun this year. Yep, a lot of shooters for sure. But before we talk to Coach Nutt later, let's let's break down some of these stats for Washita. We had three players shoot and make more than just one triple. We had six made triples from Kobe Dunlap and just two misses. And then MJ Leslie, like you mentioned, shooting 63% from beyond the arc, 7 of 11, the sharpshooter from Trinity Valley Community College looking good in his home debut and actually led all or Washita scores with 23. And, of course, 22 from Kobe Dunlap. 16 points from Taryn Williams, 15 from Reggie Martin, and 13 points from Tyler Haynes. And then nine points from Emory Knox. So the transfer's looking good so far. And another one of those transfers that filled it up on the stat sheet was Rollin Belton. Only had two points on the night, but had a, several blocks as well as four rebounds. Very impressed with the Tigers' defensive and offensive game. The most points since uh, 2013 uh, in Bill Arena. That was very big for us tonight. Well, getting out and making some plays on the defensive side of the ball was ex especially important. Tyler Haynes with three steals, and Emory Knox with three of his own. Reggie Martin also had two blocks, which actually ties his career high. Well, let's look at the Royals, some of their stats. Well, one guy that we were calling a lot in this game, especially in that first half, was Ryan Reed, who just, just was killing Washington on that first half. There's no other way around it, of course, you know, Washita did not lead the whole game as Ryan Reed was really killing him. He finished with 30 points on the night, led all scores. And then the Royals also had two other players in double digits. Jimenez had 10, and Terrell Green added 12 of his own. But really, what impressed you the most from this Royal team who was not expected to really make it tough for Washita? They never gave up. They kept playing, and um, Ryan Reed, of course, very impressive game tonight, 30 points. They never gave up, um, and, and they play with confidence tonight. That's the biggest thing. When you come in versus a team, when you come in playing a team versus uh, or, or a team that's uh, bigger than you and stronger than you, faster than you, you, you have to play with some type of confidence, and uh, the Warriors did just, just that tonight. Well, the three-point shooting was hot for the Royals in that first half, shooting 57% from beyond the arc and shooting 48% from the field in general. But that three-point shooting, that hot streak did not last in that second half, only shooting 18% from beyond the arc. But Washita, oh, man, they're going to be fun this year. I, and those transfers, especially great Taryn Williams, former number one player from Arkansas in 2021, and now he's here in Arkadelphia, and he just lit it up from beyond the arc as well. He added three triples, and for 16 points, but again, I got to throw it back to the defense. It looked extremely impressive. Absolutely, and uh, limiting Ryan Reed out of the half was very, very big. Um, you mentioned you mentioned Taron Williams coming off the bench. We had 42 bench points, 42 bench points, and we can keep that up all year. The Tigers will be special. And I believe over there, off camera, Taron Williams meeting up with his family, and I can't tell if I could hear from beyond my headset if they were wishing him a happy birthday or not but if it is well happy birthday Taryn Williams and it's always nice to get a home opening win on your birthday but Washita's first win on the season now one and three so far well after this game 
they will head to Cleveland, Mississippi to take on Delta State. And that will be this Saturday at 6 p.m. And we have Coach Nutt about to head on the floor. But Coach Nutt, his first home win of the season for Washita has been a great one. Well, now I have Coach Houston Nutt here. Or, excuse me, I, I, hey, it's hey, the second okay. time I've said that. But I, Coach, I like that. I Coach like Dennis that. Nutt here. Uh, but what a performance. Uh, what a performance by Washita uh today I mean you guys just lit it up on the stat sheet well the second half we did I thought first half our defense was not quite where it needed to be that one kid uh, number three Reed really went went off on us in the first half had 24 now he made some from from way out but you know you're you have to change your mentality when a guy gets going like that we got to really get out there and, and get him off the basketball but oh. uh second half you know our guys really kind of bought into that and uh, they shot 33 percent second half and that was that was the difference well that was the name we were calling a lot and um but you guys did a great job dialing in on him and you know making him have to spread that ball out and of course you guys went out and got a huge lead another thing you know the defense was outstanding but one guy that really impressed me a lot that we've 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 seen here at bill vining arena lighted up you know from beyond the arc a few times has been kobe dunlap and yeah. if he doesn't know by now he's hit his career high in points and three pointers made in a game i thought that may have been his career high he uh he really got going early hit uh, hit several early and got out of the, got out of the gates really strong for us and uh carried on the second half you know he's he's uh taking a lot better shots i think for him and uh you know he's a good shooter you know when he got his feet set and it's the right ones he's really good he's uh He's he's a good player for us, and I think he's uh, you know he's maturing as a player, and not only just shooting but defensively. I think he's really grown. Well, you guys added a lot of transfers, a lot of new faces this season, but MJ Leslie has probably been the most impressive out of the bunch so yeah. far with seven triples, and I imagine a few of those you were like you know maybe maybe make <laughs> one more extra pass, but you know with seven made triples, it's kind of hard to say yeah. don't shoot. Yeah, once he gets going like he did tonight. Uh, you know, that basket gets pretty big for him. So, uh, but he, he shot it well. And uh, we had several guys that shot it well. And 18 threes, that's, that may be a record for us. I'm not sure. That's a pretty high number. But, uh, yeah, we, we got several guys this year. I think they can spread the floor. And, you know, we just got to get better. It's still November. Still got a lot to learn. And uh, we got a tough match coming up Saturday down at Delta State. So. Well, most points here at home for the first time uh, since, I think, uh, 2014 for you guys here at Bill Vining Arena. But you guys have Delta State on the road this Saturday. What's the game plan heading into that one? Well, they got a guy, Mr. Cartwright, inside that's really good. He's a, he's an Arkansan, and he's uh, he's been there a while. Uh, but he's averaging about 29 points a game. He's going to be a force to deal with. He uh, He's kind of inside out, but uh, he's kind of their big guy, so to speak. Uh, so we'll have to do a good job on him. they got some shooters around him that are good. So... Kind of a quick uh, turnaround. We'll prep tomorrow, and then we'll we'll leave out Saturday, and it's a 6 p.m. game down there. Well, Coach, uh, thank you for joining us. Any final thoughts before you head out? Well, just glad we got going second half defensively. You know, I thought offensively we scored 51 in the first half. That was plenty, but defense wasn't quite where we needed it. But uh, I thought second half we kind of picked that part up. So, you know, we got to learn from it, keep moving forward, and uh, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll keep getting better. Well, Coach, congrats right. on the win. Appreciate you. All right, thank you. Well, that is Coach Houston Nutt. Oh, my goodness. I am sorry. Uh, Coach Dennis Nutt. I <laughs> – oh, my goodness. Oh, that is going to forever haunt me. I cannot stop calling him after – named after his – oh, my goodness. I cannot stop, stop calling him Houston Nutt, his brother, former Arkansas Razorback coach. Well, that is going to do it for us. Washita with a 30-point win, win, and thank you so much for tuning in. And wherever you're tuning in, from all across the country, all across the globe, good morning.